everyone, this is Tracy from Lavinia Stamps. Thank you for joining me for another demonstration today. We're going to stick with our Yepo this week and alcohol inks and then using our alcohol lift ink onto our multifarious card. So we need our alcohol blending solution and we need our brayer and our um, air blower so okay I'm going to go with some really nice bright colours today so we've got wild plum we've got patina and citrus um, or I might actually use the raspberry that's even brighter again so uh, yeah so I'm going to go with those three but again if you haven't got these colours don't worry about it you know, um, just use whatever you've got. It's about the technique more than anything. Most of the alcohol ink colours go really well together. They work well, so. Okay, so I'm going to start with um, citrus. I'm going to pop that down. I'm also going to then add patina and the raspberry as well. Let's see how we got on with those first. Those colours are just so vivid. And I made a lovely sort of purple there as well. So, okay, so I'm going to use the um, air dryer. fabulous colours. I do love alcohol ink. just going to pop a little bit of the pink down here and a bit of the patina just to balance out the colour we've got going on on the top here so just feel like we need a little bit more down the bottom and that line there is a little bit harsh so I'm going to just take that out the beauty about the alcohol inks you know if you don't like an area just put some blending solution on move it around you can change the colors all the time and um, they'll just keep on moving so and if you really don't like it just wipe it clean and start again okay so I think we're gonna have a little bit more citrus
Okay, that's great. I'm happy with that now. So just pop these over there. Okay, so I need my alcohol lift now and I need my card. Let's check that that's going to fit, yes. Um, and then our brayer. So again, we need to act quite quickly. So take that alcohol lift across the top and we're just going to spread that over the top and then take our print. So just give that a smooth over with the back of your hand. And let's see what we've got. Wow. Look at that pink. That is just incredible. Um, I mean, those colours transfer so well. They're still so vivid. They're beautiful. So that gives me a background now, something to stamp onto. So I'm going to pop that to the side and stamp on that a little later. Okay, so we've got our lovely background. Um, I've got a couple of stamps here that I'm going to use to go over the top on our multifarious card. So inking up in the Nocturne we've got our lovely uh, dragonfly keepers here that, so let's make sure that that's covered got a little hair there And then we're going to just pop her down like so. Let that rest a while on the card. Let that soak in so we get a nice silhouette. There we go. Okay. So we're going to have some little flowers down the bottom here. So I need a piece of paper to tear. And then just pop that down. And then using the twilight, I'm going to just take that over the top. And then I'm going to work my way around the edge of the card. And then I'm just going to go over the very edge of the hill that I've created and it just softens it slightly. Makes it look a little bit more mystical.
So just take your time with that. Build the colour up gradually. You know, if you want it to be a little bit more intense or a bit darker, just put layer upon layer as opposed to putting a lot on all at once because you're more likely to get marks um, and block block colour as opposed to a really nice sort of smooth finish. So just very gradually build that up. Okay, so we've got our lovely little set of flowers here. So we're going to pop those down the bottom. Oops. And I'm going to still ink up in the twilight. take that one off, just do it a little bit shorter. And then we've got our other two. And then the last one. Take that off. And there we go. Just blend that in where the, the, the bottoms of the um, flowers are. I'm just going to blend that so you can't see where they lie. Okay. So I'm going to just pop the acetate circle around our fairy and then making sure there isn't too much ink on your smoothie. I'm just going to work my way around the edge. And try to flick out as opposed to sort of you know smoothing it this way or that way. If you kind of flick it out if you do get lines, it doesn't matter as much because it almost looks like um, rays of light, which works fine. So again, gradually build up the intensity of colour around the edge. And then that really does make make it stand out. Okay, so we're nearly there. I'm going to go back to this technique. Um, you know how it is when you find something that you quite like, you, you tend to use it over and over, don't you? Um, so I'm going to bob this down use my Versamark and then the mica over the top. <clears throat> but this time I'm going to use the Violet Pearl um, which is sort of like a purpley mica which I think will work quite well with what we've got going on. So pop that down and then <clears throat> using my smoothie into the Versamark I'm just going to pop that down. And 
and I'm going to actually take the pattern up a little. I just think it will look quite interesting. There's no rules, is there? There's no rules, you can do whatever you like and that's what's great about art. No one can say you don't do it like that. It's just about playing, creating and just having some fun. Okay, let's see what we've got. So I'm going to take my little brush, my makeup brush, and pick up some mica. And then just, oh, that's the copper. We weren't going to use the copper, we were going to use the violet, so I will swap. So you have to excuse the little bit of copper I've got there. I just wanted to show you what the violet looks like. And that looks fab. That works really well. I'm liking that. Have a look. Yeah. Yeah, like that. Can you see? I know there's a little bit of copper still down here, but look at that violet mica. That works really well. Okay, so we're going to go with a little bit of glitter now. So, using our glue pen, where should we put the glitter? Let's do the glitter from the lamp onto the flowers. And then we're going to be using the, um, the purple and the blue glitter. So it's a really fine blue and then a coarser purple. So I'm just going to take that over the top. And hopefully a little of that will stick to the fairy as well, as it always does. Yeah, it has. And it's even stuck a little bit to the uh, Versa mark as well. But it looks great. Well, I hope you can see that okay. And I hope you enjoyed the demo. Thank you so much for uh, staying with me today and watching this demonstration. <clears throat> um, Thanks for all your comments and your likes and your shares. Um, massive appreciation for that. So, um, yeah, keep in touch, stay safe and speak to you real soon. Bye for now, guys.